Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about sealing diffusion. Two choices, remember, we have for treatment, diffusion and absorption. Those are our only two options that we have. So absorption, it lowers the reverb times in the room, okay, which improves resolution. Doesn't do anything for distance rendering, if you will. So diffusion, it lowers the impact of the reflection. So our ears, when we have a primary reflection that goes into our ears, if we take that primary reflection, the ears can localize the distance involved, let's say it's seven feet. If, but if it's a, a bunch of little reflections, specular reflections, the ear has a, a much more difficult time in localizing. So what it does then, it kind of tricks our brain into thinking the surface area is much farther away than it is. Our sacred ground studio in Hollywood, we, we used to blindfold people all the time and take them into the studio and set them down, play a few songs for them and say, okay, guess how far the ceiling is away from you. And it was nine feet, but it had diffusion on it. We get guesses 12, 13, 14 feet. We never got a guess below 11 feet. So there's a, a good example, a real life example of how powerful diffusion can be on the ceiling. Now you have to be careful. You have to keep it in the, you know, the right places. But once it's installed and you've selected the prime number to match the distance, things are good. You can get a, a real nice psychoacoustic impact and make the surface area farther away than it really is, okay? So primary reflections, we've talked about that. If we reduce the reflections, the brain has a hard time localizing the distance. So it's all part of psychoacoustics. Our data shows that if you do diffusion done right, on a single surface area, you can get about a 30 to 40% perception increase, I think is the, is the way to see it. Not physical distance increase, but perception increase. So you start adding all those surface areas up that have diffusion on them, and you, you know, you can get the room to sound twice as large as it actually is. It's a wonderful technology. Very few people have had, I think, the opportunity to be in a, a properly diffused room. There's a lot of companies out there that advertise products as diffusers, but they're not. You know, they're, diffusion is a technology that you have to satisfy a lot of criteria before you can use it. Reverb times must be equal throughout the room. Decay rates and stuff must be logarithmic and smooth. And there's three or four other criteria that you have to meet in order for diffusion to work correctly. Distance is a very critical factor. You need distance because the lowest waveform that the diffuser produces, the diffuser has a frequency response. So the lowest frequency that it produces has to have enough distance to travel. And if you're talking 200, 225, 250 hertz, you know, you're going to need four, five, six feet for that low uh, waveform to fully form. So distance is very critical. You've got to match the prime number, the frequency response of the diffuser to the distances that you have to work with. A prime seven is four inches deep. A 11 is nine inches. 13 is 12 inches deep. So you can see as you go up in prime number, the depth of the diffuser increases. So you have to calculate all that into the situation, but it's a wonderful technology. Mix rooms, people like it on the rear wall to get that slap back reflection minimized. Uh, listening rooms, it can be ceiling. It can be sidewalls also if you have the distance can be rear wall and front wall. You gotta be careful with one dimensional and two dimensional in these rooms. Two dimensional is when the distance is really borderline for one dimensional, so you can go to two dimensional, it's complicated. We'll have to probably do a whole series of videos on that. But ceiling diffusion is a good way to make the ceiling disappear. Now, you gotta cover enough surface area. Let's see if we get up here. So if your chair is here and your speakers are here and you're doing diffusion, your diffusion has to be from behind the speakers to behind the listening position across the ceiling. 
can get kind of expensive. We've done ceilings at 30, 40, 50,000 just for diffusion modules. So we build the two foot by two foot so you can install them easy. And they weigh less, obviously, than the two by four foot. So ceiling diffusion, a great technology to make the ceiling sound farther away than it actually is. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.